welcome to the world of entrepreneurship development. A billion dreams and dreams of many people behind which they have an idea of launching a new startups. This is not only for an individual, there are many people who is having the idea of starting a new business. Our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi's vision is to encourage and promote the entrepreneurs by uh, mentoring, facilitating and guiding in a proper way to start a business. This made him in order to start that is a new policy called Startup India Action Plan on 16th January of 2016 in which he has given a number of facilitates which will help the entrepreneurs in order to start the business. So the main aim of this policy is to mentor the entrepreneurs, those who don't have any idea about it and whatever the requirements they want it, even maybe the fund, where to get the funds, what are the rules and regulations, how they have to start the business, if they have an idea, where to project that idea. So all these requirements will be explained in the Startup India 2016. This was the main idea of the honor our Prime Minister because that is considered to be the backbone of the country once the entrepreneurs comes into the field which will help them to develop the country. So first we will enter into the concept entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is a person who takes the risk and starts something new. So entrepreneur means what? Entrepreneur is a word which has been derived from the Latin entrepreneur who undertakes. So he is ready to undertake the risk in order to identify the opportunities and ideas which actually can be projected into a design, the requirements of the public and can convert into a product. So it is not an easy task but he has to analyze it. After that only he can make it into a new product which satisfies the public. He has to see the requirements. At the same time, there will be a lot of uncertainties and risk. If the person is ready to accept it, then obviously a normal person will be converted into a, an entrepreneur. That is, who identifies the requirements and the opportunities and ready to take the risk, he will become a successful entrepreneur. This course of actions which are being taken by the entrepreneur is known as entrepreneurship. The process is called entrepreneurship. Where it is being taken is known as enterprise. The next. So entrepreneur is a person who designs, launches, puts the operation a business starting from the innovation. So the idea, there will be a lot of people in the country, everyone is having a own idea but he has to design in such a way that will be projected in the form of the product and that should satisfy the requirements of the public. That's why Mahatma Gandhi has told consumers are the king of the market who decides it what should be there and what should not be there on that basis only the entrepreneur will be leading in the market so there are millions thinking about the ideas all about the time the important the execution that is based on the talent and training so ideas execution that is thinking of an idea is very easy but bringing that idea into a practical one is difficult. Once if you have a desire that you have to do something, you have to project your idea into a reality, then you should be ready to accept the challenges and you should proceed further. For example, uh, we know the air is available everywhere. Wind is available. Wind is there. Wind means what? The air. Even we, we can feel it when we breathe it. I'm having a doubt. Uh, from where you can generate electricity? 
we can we will be seeing from windmill we can uh, generate the electricity from water from solar okay these are the uh, things the sources where you can generate the electricity is it any rules or any uh, uh, thing that only in this place you can generate uh, electricity for wind is there any specification air is everywhere so automatically the current is everywhere this was been identified by a student pg student what he thought since air is everywhere so electricity is also everywhere so he made a product just like a windmill windmill is a huge thing he just make a like a chapati roll and fixed in a divider and started checking it once the bus moves or vehicle moves and comes obviously there will be an air the passage of air it may be hot or cold so in that the current is there so first he decided and he placed it that is his idea is been brought into a prototype then to a product so this prototype he presented to the government then later what happened now it has been a successful product now he is able to generate electricity for 40000 households so this is what is called generation of ideas converting the ideas into prototype then into a product so that is called an entrepreneur every person will be having idea even though we will be also having idea but that idea should be converted into a reality for which that person should be ready to accept the challenges risk uncertainty whatever may be if he fails also he should come up with what mistake that he had done because the mistakes will teach him in order to rectify his mistakes so now uh, I, what actually i have told that uh, modi government have given the startup policy so in that also there is an app you can download it even the websites so whatever doubts that you have you can post it there are experts they will be clarifying our doubts and we can proceed with our task the next one so the next one is every young entrepreneur should keep in mind as the past or his or her dreams so what i have already told that everyone will be having a dream that what they have to become when you are going to become an entrepreneur you should have this following characteristics that is you should have the guts in order to face the challenges i can give you an example of redbus.com actually sudhakar and some other uh, three peoples were there in order to start this uh, redbus.com it is just an app actually they were work they have completed their engineering in bits pilani and many big colleges and they were working in mnc company one day after completion of their work they thought in order to go to their native so they went to the bus stand in order to get a ticket but they were not able to get a ticket because that was uh, deepavali season and they were not able to get a single ticket so and the ticket rate also is uh, triple time and four or five times because only the agents were able to provide it they are not able to get their own tickets in their own name through some person brokers they are able to get it that too is a higher cost and okay whatever may be the cost they can't travel in their own name so they have lost their identity so this made them to feel even we are not able to get a single ticket in order to travel from one place to another place during the festival season and we are not able to get the convenient place in the bus so this made them why can't we do a program in order to solve this problem so this was the problem which they have identified they left their job so nearly they were earning 1 and 1/2 lakh as a salary they left their job and the, all the three had put all their efforts in order to develop an app called as redbus.com so they went to many bus operators in order to get the links through which they can book the tickets but nobody was there in order to provide this opportunity to them so that is what is called nobody is having the guts in order to help them they thought that it may lead to loss but after 6 months they never left that they have been failed they were trying again and again with all the bus operators after 6 months they got the first opportunity so they planned it planning means what deciding in advance what to be done in the future so they planned if we get at least to one with that we can multiply so that was the first thing 
now they are been getting more than 200 bus operators in order that they can uh, they can book the tickets in redbus.com so first failure if once you get a failure you should not come back you should take the steps whichever is required that is what we call preparation of bouncing back once you come down again come up trying to identify what the mistake that you have already done take the experience of yourself and others and make it in a proper way the next one is zero concern stress really there will be a lot of stress think about the sudhakar he has already working in a mnc company whose salary was one and a half lakh now he has left so already he will be having a lot of commitments with that amount but what to do he got an uh, inspiration he was having an idea dream in order to become an entrepreneur so he left the job that is already a stress and the next one is no bus operators was ready to provide them so he never took that into a mind but he struggled again and again now they are able to earn more than what they have expected so learning from the experiences so this is what i would like to share with you all the next one so what are the soft skills and hard skills hard skills we used to say that technical knowledge about the concepts which every people will be having it is not uh, something different because whatever we study from our textbook or from the websites it is called hard skills so we are doing a graduation or post graduation so we will be having a knowledge about the subject that is not at all different but soft skill is completely different it depends upon each and every individual the style of their attitude how they are going to behave when you are coming with the interaction with the public that is when you are going to work with the public or when you are going to become an entrepreneur you should develop the soft skill which is considered to be very very important once if you be behave harshly with the public automatically they will be having the negative aspects towards you when it comes towards you automatically that will be having its effect on the business so soft skills are the habits and the behaviors of every individual which is which will make them different from others for example we can take it as a nippon actually initially nobody has having an idea about nippon paints once the bobblings brought into the picture that is in the advertisement the way they presented the advertisement created a craze towards the small kids so obviously what made them in order to do this it is a advertisement we are ready to help you the, the next one is kinder joy we know whether the product is good or bad how they started attracting the people by way of the products and the way of the gifts so that is what called the way you satisfy the customer is very important in the entrepreneurship so the next one is why soft skills are important work with the customers and clients when you are working with the customers automatically you can understand what is their expectation try to analyze the expectation of the customers according to that you have to manufacture the product you should not think whatever i have manufactured you should use it because they will decide what the product they require according to that only you have to prepare the product so that is what been stated first the most important step to become an entrepreneur is to identify the problems then convert the problems into an idea try to find the solutions after that make it a prototype then try it in the market after that sure if it succeeds then good you can make it in a product if not you identify where you are lagging automatically that will satisfy the requirements right for example we can take it a boost initially they were be having a packets big big packets half kg or 250 grams like that they have introduced but how can you expect below poverty people will be using it they will not be having 200 rupees or 250 rupees in order to buy that big containers so that was a the problem they identified it and they brought it into a sachets of 2 rupees or 5 rupees so now it can be used by many people whatever may be the range of the people they can use it one more product uh, recently that has been introduced by avin uh, because many people used to go for trekking or going for long trip they will be in need of milk there is a product milk powder you can use it but 
some people won't like the milk powder so in order to satisfy them they have introduced uh, Arvin Dell uh, product that can be used for three months at the room temperature it is not required that you have to store in a refrigerator you can keep it outside at the room temperature itself you can use the product but once you open it you should use within 24 hours so this is the problem of the trekking when the people are going for trekking they require milk so they can't get wherever it is possible so they can have it with them and whenever they require they can open it at the sashi and they can use it so that is the problem it is the solution so that is what has been expected make them believe on your products and all your services once the brand has been fixed in the minds of the people nobody will migrate uh, we can take the example of surf or you can take it a uh, example of the toothpaste which we use in our home you can see a lot of brands are available in the market and we can see the advertisements also but whether we are changing regularly oh today this month we are using colgate why can't we use uh, pepsi in the next month no the same product we are using it though it is good or bad because we have fixed it to the brand so create that thing in the minds of the people automatically they won't migrate from your product to other product you try to satisfy the requirements that can be taken into the example of surf the competitor is aerial but now it is not so he is not able to satisfy the competition of the surf company in the surf we can see a lot of uh, supply that is the products like surf surf excel surf blue so new innovations that is r and d is being introduced in the company they are able to identify what is actually required for example we can take it as uh, maggi noodles also for maggi noodles it is not necessary that every time i have to go to the kitchen boil the water put all the masala then noodles then cook it uh, then i will be getting that this is i feel as a lazy uh, to do all this task so what he did everything he has put in the cup and if just to pour a uh, hot water then within a uh, five minutes you will be getting the noodles ready see he is identifying the problem of uh, each and every individual according to that if he produces the product the people won't migrate from one product to other product so keep make them the fix of your brand because brand will speak about us then ready to cooperate with them make them feel comfortable yes if i'm going with this product it is user friendly for me i am so convenient with this product whatever the product is been coming because no product in the market is monopoly everything there will be a lot of competitors who will be providing the more benefits than what uh, early products is been providing but make them no i whatever may be the benefits is been provided by other company they should not go they should feel that this is my product whatever may be the others i won't move that is the word of mouth i should not concentrate on others that can be made only the way you behave if there is any complaint you can satisfy it or you can replace it so that is what is been called as uh, this is called a soft skill because you should analyze you should take care of your customers if you leave them automatically within a fraction of second you will be thrown out of the market so that is what is called uh, the most important character for an entrepreneur is the soft skill it is very important for him he should not show the very harsh towards the customer communication communication is the transformation of information from one person to another person maybe uh, ideas thoughts emotions so what we think they should understand the same meaning that is what is called a communication so that is what already have said in the soft skill we should understand the expectations according to that we should manufacture the product then obviously they will buy a products try to observe the customers whoever may be buying our product try to get their suggestions if possible make the corrections again uh, bring back to the market really that will help in order to develop yourself the next one is uh, public speaking see whatever product that you have manufactured don't keep with yourself it should be brought to the market only by way of uh, speaking about your product in a common place or in a conference or whatever may be you have to project your product that will be known to everyone it will help us in order to develop our company 
so active listening what i have already said in the communication you should listen what others are saying about your product what others are saying about your company don't take the negative aspects if that is in a wrong way take it in a positive way okay they say something wrong about your company take that points also into consideration see whether that is been applicable to you or not if not just leave it ignore it if there is any mistake in your side try to rectify it okay this is a mistake what they have stated okay what are the next procedure that i have to follow in order to make that negative way into a positive way and removing all distractions so don't take uh, unwanted things because that may not help you in order to develop or grow your company as well as yourself listening to the speaker's signs and sound keenly observe what the others are projecting about your products feedbacks that you have understood whenever you are going to say something just get the feedbacks from the public through a salesman or through directly to the consumers or to the person to whom you have sold the product get the feedbacks because feedbacks are the real answers for the product which you have manufactured and which you have bought for the sale so whatever may be the concern you take that points also into consideration in order to modify your products so time management so with uh, that is when you are getting the feedback within a specified period of time you have to change it the modification that you can do means sure you should do yes the later the change will not have its effect because the competitors will enter into the market and they will occupy your place you should build your dream when you lag others will build their dreams with your efforts so time management is very very important for an entrepreneur not only for an entrepreneur for everyone so what are the tips that we have to follow the first one is checklist of what are the works that you should do so when you are going to start a work not only as an entrepreneur as a normal person you should checklist put all the checklist that is what are the works according to the priority first you write the prior task what you have to perform then give the numbers which will come first which will go second that is according to the priority importance you have to schedule it then be on time if you have put a task that have to complete within a couple of days means you have to complete it within that specified don't drag it once you start dragging automatically your task will drag and you are not able to complete the work which you have been already specified i will complete this task within a one week means you will be lagging in the so put a checklist and at the same time put the time according to that you have to complete the next one is avoid distractions when you are doing one work please don't concentrate on other works because that may lead you in lagging of your works the next one is schedule accordingly so when you are putting the checklist itself according to the priority you will be schedule yes this is the first thing which i have to complete and for which how many time i have required the next one is remind the deadline the next one is take break when you are going to do a work uh, continuously automatically you will get fed up the interest will be lagging so there should be some breaks so for that you should not take a break in every task once you are able to complete means you should complete at a stretch if not possible means you can take a break and never be panic if you are been failure you are been failure in order to complete that task don't be panic that is you should not feel that inferiority complex or you should not feel a fear or you should not feel having a uh, negative ta- attitude that i am not able to complete the task when others are able to complete just leave it whatever you can you give the best shot within the specified period of time you will do it if there is any lagging also try to take one or two days extra in order to complete but whatever you are going to do do it the best whatever whenever you are doing do it the best and with full interest so the this is what has been stated and these are the few tips which we should consider while we are doing a time management the next negotiation obviously it is that uh, we used to negotiate it is not at all the entrepreneurs used to do everyone will be doing a negotiation with the big people we won't do with the small people always we'll be having a negotiation so because th- we feel that we can convince them never go with the inferior try to beat with the superior so inferior that is negotiation is an important task in the business because 
when the amount that you are going to spend in order to pro produce a product that is the cost price of the product will if if it is high automatically your profit will come down when the cost of production is le less your profit will be high cost price plus profit will give you the selling price so obviously we will be having an intention in order to reduce the price or the amount that we spend for the factors of production because the amount that we spend for the factors of production has been reduced obviously our profit will increase for which negotiation is very very important you should be able to negotiate with the other person from whom we are going to purchase uh, factors of production the next next leadership leadership is just an action it is not a position it is a responsibility how we have to perform it is just a team he should work with the people he should lead the team but they it should not uh, make them feel that uh, superior to others he is also one among the others so when he is able to mingle with his team he will be able to understand the problems issues what his team members are facing when they both work together automatically it will lead to a positive when we used to have, say that i am the leader you have to work the dictatorship will lead obviously in the negative concepts so it is just a action so goals you should not have that mind that i am the boss you should work with them as a team member sure that will help in order to achieve the task before the specified time so networking now i have manufactured the product with the good team with a nego good negotiation within the specified period of time but i know only the people who are, who are around us i don't know the people who are beyond uh, my limit so automatically i will be having a narrow market see i have done everything properly but when a particular function is lagging automatically whatever i have did is gone into a negative so networking is very very important you should have a lot of network people networks that is you should have a connectivity a lot of people in order to develop your products to be known to everyone so try to develop this uh, networking which can be done with the help of social medias social medias the, this is the next one is a positive mindset so now everything has been done i have completed my product i have a good team and i am having a good network okay everything is okay but it is not so that at the initial stage whatever the product that you have manufactured will click and you will be getting the profit and you will be becoming a multi million this is not at all possible because every people will not have an a positive intention on your product because there will be always a brand which has been fixed in their mind so from that to our brand migration it will take time if no, if today they are not coming sure they will be coming tomorrow so that is called the positive mind so positive mind is mindset is half full or half empty it depends upon how we are going to take it for me it is full half is filled with vacuum and half is filled with water so take that into consideration the next so obviously you should say that i can even impossible says i am possible so take everything in a positive mindset sure an entrepreneur will be rocking in the market thank you